show's called Pennywise. Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KidBadger.com out here with day one of Desert Brutality 2020. Desert Brutality is here in Chino Valley, hosted at the Compass Training Center this year. And I just finished basically my first event, which I believe is like station three. It starts out, you're about 10 yards away, you have five little pepper poppers, you're shooting with your pistol behind this ballistic shield. Kind of difficult, never shot behind a shield before, and more difficult than shooting behind that 24 degrees out this morning freezing cold and so dexterity wasn't quite there i only brought three pistol mags i was like ah 16 rounds five hits should should be fine it was not and part of the issue i ran into shooting this p7 m8 and built by germans to spec and for whatever reason i don't know if the primers were set a little deep or they're hard primers but kept getting a bunch of misfires. Fortunately with this, it's just a matter of letting go of the cocking mechanism, that front grip, cocking it again, and keep trying until it actually went, because I wasn't gonna start jacking rounds out onto the ground. Eventually though, I had one left, went dry. I was like, all right, whatever, four hits. Dumped my pistol, took off, went to go shoot rifle. And I'm not sure how big the steel targets are out of distance. From the first targets, two hits on one steel, two on the other, then go up to a big uh, tire that is standing upright. Can't project your muzzle past it. So again, two, two, next tire, two, two. Last tires over the top, and it was at that point I timed out. But whatever, it is what it is. That first stage is down and be moving on to the next one shortly. I just finished my second stage of day one. It went decidedly not as I had hoped, but hope's not a good plan. I started off doing pretty good for myself, probably shooting a little faster than I usually would. Consequently, I dropped a couple rounds, but since misses don't count against you, kind of edged more towards the end of speed and made it through, shot the dudes in the trench, got over, ended up going dry shooting kind of that last uh, string of steel with the rifle conducted my reload decided to shoot offhand rather than kind of get up against the berm whatever dropped a round or two and move forward with the pistol that's where everything started ended up with a bunch of light strikes and because i wasn't holding a shield i actually did start jacking rounds on the ground and yeah it it was not pretty I made it to the spinner, I couldn't get it to spin, and finally timed out. After looking at the rounds, it doesn't look like primers are set too deep, probably aren't hard or anything like that. And what it is, is for whatever reason, the firing pin on this P7M8 is not going as deep as it should go. I went out, I test fired it, the day before I came down here, it was working, I've shot it a bunch before. I don't know, I'm gonna try and pull it apart and see if I can clean out just kind of firing pin channel. Maybe it's getting hung up. Maybe there's something in there, I don't know, but it doesn't look like it's protruding far enough to consistently ignite the primers. I got what I got. With that stage, nobody from our entire like heat, I guess it'll be like, I don't know, probably like 15 people, something like that. Nobody got the spinner to move or go all the way around. I think today, so far, only two people have actually got it to rotate, so whatever. It was frustrating going through that. I don't have other ammo to try. Again, I don't think ammo is a problem after actually looking at primers. So I'm going to try and get this thing cleaned out and get on with stage three today. 
I just wrapped up my third and final stage of day one. Didn't quite go as I was hoping, but it went better than the other ones, not because of this pistol or more than likely the actual ammo. Uh, you basically start, run up there, get up to the front, draw out your pistol, and you need to put two rounds on three different steel targets. I again ran into a bunch of either light strikes or what I'm actually thinking more hard primers. After you get those, which took me a while, pick up a kettlebell, I think 60, 60 plus pounds, run it back, and then go ahead, unsling your rifle, break one shot on an Ipsic steel at distance, and then it's a matter of picking up a kettlebell, kettlebell swing, throw that thing as far as you can, have to have both hands on it, can't like swing it out to the side, and go forward, shoot from where it lands, repeat, 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 repeat. Again, 180 second par time, a lot of people were actually timing out on it. I think I got 166, I didn't time out. I was super stoked because, yeah, the pistol definitely set me back. But, I don't know, I, my unscientific testing took a handful of blazer ammo, like nine rounds. Went over to the range, test fired it, worked fine with all of them. Again, more light strike, hard primers on a couple of the extra ones, or the other rounds that I had, some of them fired. But didn't have that with the like nine or 10 aluminum cased blazer rounds. So I don't know, tomorrow I fortunately have some other ammo. I'm gonna go ahead and try that tomorrow, see if it runs or if it doesn't, and I will know one way or another. But this right here wraps up day one down here at Desert Brutality 2020. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.